Okay then, here I am out and about with my super light Nikon F55 outfit. I've got the standard 28 to 80 lens, as I said in the previous video, mounted. Uh, if you didn't watch that video, I'll put a link somewhere. Go back and watch it if you could. Yeah, it'll certainly give you an idea as to why I'm carrying this ultra cheap outfit. Got the other lens, the long lens on the side here, a 70 to 300. Uh, got a little clamp on my uh, my pole just to give me a bit of stabilization, a bit of a monopod. Um, other than that, um, yeah, just got to head off up a big mountain. Now today's forecast is pretty dull. Um, it is going to be raining at some point. So I had the usual decision as to what to rate the film at. Now, I'm not going to rate it at 1600 because there's a bit of bright sky up there and pushing it, that sky is going to be, uh, it's going to be a little bit blocked up, I think, a bit bright. So I've gone for 800 and we're going to develop this in Ilford's Microfen, which gives a gentle push anyway to about sort of 650 normally. So 800 is nothing for it. Um, not really too sure though whether that's going to be enough for the long lens and also the little f55 has no ability to set the iso manually so you basically set it to minus one on the exposure compensation which effectively gives you an exposure index of 800. Well, the uh, little monopod, the walking stick, certainly came in very handy there for that long shot you can see behind me of some amazing light whoa, over the top of the mountains. The reason is, even though I'm shooting at an uh, exposure index of 800, I needed uh, f8, f11, I think it's about f9.5, to get the best out of this lens, because it's not a great lens, to be honest. Um, it needs to be stopped down. And I was shooting at the long end, even more reason to stop it down, it gets better. And that gave me a 90th of a second. I ain't gonna handhold a long lens at a 90th of a second. So hopefully one of the two frames I took with the little monopod will be sharp. Now I'm just taking a, a bit of shelter from the wind because I'm going to get absolutely blasted in a minute when I get to the summit of uh, Moyle Habog. And uh, just one other thing, I'm not using a yellow filter at the moment on either of these lenses. And the reason is that the light is very, very flat. There is a little bit of, tiny bit of blue maybe in there, but I need the speed. The speed is more important. I want to be able to shoot at F8, F11. Um, so I'd rather sacrifice possibly a little bit of contrast for the stability of hand holding. Um, but we'll see, we'll see as it uh, goes on the day, if it gets a bit brighter, the filters will come out.
Well, through a combination of good luck and planning, I found myself at the summit of the highest point on the walk, Molhebog, and it's just in the line of mist. I'm just sort of catching some low cloud, thankfully, so I have got views. Had I chosen one of the bigger mountains, um, maybe over in the main area around Snowdon or sort of Molshabod, um, yeah, I'd have been up in the clouds, I wouldn't have seen a thing, so it's worked out quite well. The next two peaks in this little ridge of three are lower, so I'm going to get good views and I've still got dramatic cloud. So yes, once I come down off here, hopefully I'll get some lovely uh, shots of the distant peaks. Well, as I take a, a brief respite on the summit of the second peak, I think it's Moyla Goff, uh, a little bit about how things are working out so far. Well, the camera is absolutely fine. I've had no problem whatsoever. It, it's super, super light, even lighter than the F80, as I said. Um, typically using it in manual and aperture priority. <sighs> sort of the F9.5 is a typical aperture at about 1 25th of a second. No filters because, as I say, I need the speed and it's a bit grey anyway, to be honest. Um, I haven't really used the long lens though, I used it at the start of the day as I said because the conditions don't really lend themselves to those sort of long shots. Um, I may I may put it on for a couple while I'm sat here to be honest while I'm having uh, my lunch but um, so far the 28-80 uh, is doing everything. I'd like it a little bit longer, maybe up to about 120 but uh, yeah so far so good. Well, I think I'm pretty much done for the day. I have a few frames left on the roll, just in case something amazing appears before I get back to the car. Sadly, the weather did set in. It sort of took its toll on me. Didn't take as many images, but have a, having said that, the camera has performed very well. That little 28 to 80, adequate in most situations. I think it's probably better now, get back, have a look at the photos and discuss uh, overall what worked, what didn't work and what I'll be doing with this little outfit. So the little F55 outfit in all its silver glory, how did I think it coped? Well, first off, a bit of an elephant in the room you'll have noticed on the first couple of the long shot images there with the long lens, they were blurred. They were actually out of focus. I couldn't see much through the viewfinder and it turns out I wasn't nailing focus and the focus on this lens in dull weather with this camera isn't brilliant. However, I actually think they're my favorite two shots from the uh, the whole day out, even though the blurred, it's just got much more atmosphere, but uh, it doesn't say much for the lens, unfortunately. My other lenses would have nailed that. So this lens in particular as part of the outfit, not so good, not so good indeed. I would say that is something you would take if you're desperate, if you've got nothing else. Uh, super light but very very flimsy and fragile and I found myself shooting the majority of the day with the much nicer 28 to 80. Lovely little lens, some super sharp images. I made a couple of darkroom prints um, and they were very sharp. They were very sharp indeed. It's super super compact and I was very pleased with it overall. Very pleased. It's a very very nice little outfit to shoot with. So is it going to replace any of my other cameras? Uh, well the answer is no. 
But what it is going to do is it's going to come along, probably with the, uh, the body only, as it normally does, by the way, in a little pouch which sits in my rucksack as a spare camera. Now, the reason being, it, as I said before, it weighs nothing. It's plastic. It, you know, it will bounce if you drop it. Yeah, I actually love it. I think it's a brilliant little bit, bit of kit. Um, it's sort of standby um, perfect as a, as a backup camera for me on my walks for my F8 or maybe an F100. So overall, I'd say it's a, a good value little outfit, um, you know, long lens notwithstanding. But uh, I would definitely recommend if you are starting out in film photography or you are keen to uh, experiment with lightweight gear and go up mountains, and especially if you want very sharp shots, by the way, you know, get one of these 28 to 80s or the slightly longer 28 to 100, just as good. Um, super light, super cheap, super good. Um, yeah, highly recommended. So thanks as ever for watching and I'll see you soon.